infinite ammo. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Quarter Circle Forward. It's the podcast where we talk about fighting games and nothing but fighting games. So if you don't like fighting games, then you uh, might need to back out. Actually, stay there, watch, and then play fighting games. Don't back out. <laughs> I am the host, Reapers, uh, gaming PC gaming god, and also a uh, fighting game god, even though I get my ass beat occasionally by mostly everybody in this group. Uh, <laughs> joining me today, as always, is my uh, little group of minions, little group of fighting game minions that I love. Uh, as a friend, no homo pause. I love Damn them it. as friends. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. One day, but uh, joining <laughs> me, <laughs> yeah, joining me today, Mr. Kaneki. How are you today, sir? Raging storm. Absolutely. That's a little taste of what we're gonna be talking about today. Uh, next up, we got Mr. Arcane Magic Brendan, who's been missing for quite a while, but I've discovered him again. Mesos. Exactly. Uh, next up, we got Mr. Italian Stallion. How are you, sir? Uh, good. I was gonna think of a fighting game thing to say, but I got nothing. Uh, you did the uh, the uh, slowpoke confusion move, so you're close. Yeah. Poking. Oh, I got. Hey, everybody! There you go. Hades Manicore. How are you, sir? I'm doing all right, that's for sure. Awesome, awesome. Rad Rad, how are you? I am doing splendid. We got a, we added a little person to the group. Uh, I don't know if he's little, I don't know if he's taller than me, but uh, we have a new member as of right now. I'm not sure if he's going to stick around, depends on him. You know, I don't like keeping people under a leash, you know, when there's a relationship, you don't want to, you don't want you know, chain them down because that usually doesn't work, so I like to let people... Uh, decide if they want to stay or just want to hang out for a bit uh but today i dis discovered a uh, a corpse a body if you will uh i found him outside in a dumpster just like i did rad rad i picked him up i cleaned him off and i uh made sure he ate well uh mr lagaya lagaya rasu is in how are you sir do ya exactly uh, Lagaya is a new member that has joined the group. He is also a, a fighting game aficionado, but I think it's mostly Tekken, which we don't mind because Tekken's getting a lot of new shit. Uh, we appreciate having you on, as I do everybody else. But uh, it's a mm -hmm. oh, sorry, go ahead. no good. I was gonna say it's a pleasure to be here. Um, kind of random. You kind of drawn that out for so long, but I don't mind it. So. I had to I had to give you like a proper thing because I gave Rad Rad a proper thing where I kind of uh, resurrected him as well. But uh, resurrection. Before I start the actual podcast, I do want to give uh, Lagaya the first question that's only for him because we kind of answered it before. But Lagaya, where what was your first fighting game and what got you into fighting games? Uh, okay, so there were actually multiple fighting games I played. Mm-hmm. Um, the I want to say the very first fighting game I played was Street Fighter 2 uh, at the arcades. And then it led to Mortal Kombat 2, Tekken 2, Killer Instinct. Like, basically, a game or a fighting game that had the number 2 in it were the first fighting games I played. Um, what got me into fighting games, I had a... Uh, I have older brothers that were gamers as well, so they got me into fighting games. Nice. Uh, I think we kind of came from the same thing. 
Mine was also Street Fighter 2, but I played it like at a laundromat because I was with my mom. She dragged me along to go do work on my days off school. So that was pretty funny. Uh, what are you cur currently playing right now, fighting game wise? Uh, Tekken 7. Nice, nice. All right, well, got that introduction out of the way. We can actually start this goddamn podcast and stop talking about bullshit skeleton warriors, which which is still cool. Which I've been like. offended. Me too. <laughs> I apologize. Right? We're gonna have to whoop his ass. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Take him on. Uh, anyways, we're starting off the news with Blast Blue crossover. Uh, did you guys hear about the new characters, which are? Uh, please do not forgive me because I'm gonna butcher these names. Uh, Goridio. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> what? I don't know what the fuck this name is. My favorite Blaze Blue character. It's like it, Gorito. It's it, is that what it is? Gorito. Gordo. I thought you said Gorito. Any Gordo. Like from Star nah, Wars. Gordo is Gordo is spelled G O R D O. This is G O R D E A U. Gordio. Gordito. Got it. Yeah, Doritos. Chicken Got it. Gordito. Chicken Gordito <laughs> Crunch from Taco Bell. <laughs> Anyways, it's that nigga, uh, Yukiko, which uh, we are most of us are familiar with from the Persona cast. Uh, of course. Nope. I think this is named Azriel. Azrael. It's Azrael. A Azrael. You had a little flare on the end there. These are the uh, new uh, announced characters for the crossover game in Blast Blue. Uh, the only character I am familiar with, obviously, is Yukiko. But if you guys are familiar with the other guys, please uh, talk about it. I am somewhat familiar with Blaze Blue, and I think that Azrael is a bit of a left field pick. It kind of feels like they're choosing villains for the Blaze Blue side, even though Azrael is not really that much of a villain. He's just a burly badass who likes to fight. Mm -hmm. But it's a neat addition. It makes you think that the Blaze Blue side isn't necessarily going to be the usual suspects. Hmm. Okay. Anybody else have any thoughts on these characters? Nah. Oh, I don't. I. Dude, this is not a game that I play. <laughs> yeah. The, the last reviews was better. A grappler from Undermine was great. I played two characters in a Blaze Blue game. It was Ragna and that ninja guy. Started with an H. I always forget. Akuma. Uh, mm. Thank you. There it is. That was the only guy I played too, so I kind of remember him. I'm not much of a Blaze Blue player either, so yeah, I'm happy yeah. to see Yukiko, and you know, I'm still hoping for that Kanji reveal, which I think will be next. Hopefully, we we, we didn't get a uh, a Ruby character, did we? I don't think so. Uh, no. That's kind of weird. It's just Ruby and Weiss so far. Oh. That's kind of odd. Um, I feel like Yang might come with Kanji <laughs> personally, but that's just my opinion. Kanji's supposed to be next because according I mean according to how things are going the persona side of the cast are being announced uh, dungeon wise from the game uh, persona 4 story wise dungeon wise so the next so, person up would be what Kanji yeah it'd be Kanji Rise then Naoto if I'm not mistaken yeah I'm not counting that one one dude that has his own dungeon would it be Rise then Teddy Oh yeah. Oh, oh I guess so. Yeah, they're they're the same dungeon though, so I, I kind of got it mixed up. I guess. So. I admit I don't think Rise is a guarantee. Characters like Teddy and Naoto, those are far more. Yeah, you can expect to see them. I sure hope so. I was kind of hoping we'd get like other Persona people. You know, not just from the uh, the two games that they're from. I know they're using like the the same characters from the games, but I kind of wish they had, like, P5 people or P2, P1. Slide that Makoto right in there, Arxis. Slide like her right in. Saved for <laughs> another Persona project down the line. This seems to be strictly Persona 4 characters, so as not to complicate the roster too much in a game already with four series represented so far. Now, do you think Didn't that... They... Go ahead. Didn't they say uh, P5 Arena was dependent on how well... Uh this cross game does i don't know about that i've heard it that from not, somewhere it would not surprise me if it was the measuring stick buying I mean, it immediately then i mean that that uh that persona fighting game what is it the name is fucking ultimax yeah that uh that game would have done way better and would still be people be playing it like religiously if they put that uh that update that arcades had in yeah. japan not sure why they did that expect people to buy it 
if that were the case, they would have put it on PlayStation 4 by then. Exactly. So, I mean, if you guys want this game to sell, then don't do what you did with the other one, is what I'd say. But uh, I think that's going to be it for BlazBlue. Get that shit out of my face. Uh, next up is everybody's favorite uh, everybody's favorite fighting game, uh, Akira EX. Got a new character. Um, somebody knows the name of this character. I have it written down, but I'm not going to. They have revealed Shirase. Shirase. What? Now, Shirase, I have not played any EX games because I feel like the EX games were really slow for my taste. I was more in for like the turbo shit. So uh, I know most of you guys are familiar with this character. So please tell the audience about this character, please. She's new, ain't she? This is a. This seems to be a brand new edition. They kind of oh, had really? a dark Hokuto, but they've never really made her so different from regular Hokuto like this. Bloody Hakuto, wasn't it? Yeah, bloody Hokuto. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's got me it's new, so we don't know much about her, unfortunately. <laughs> I didn't know that was. I I just assumed they were putting in like all old characters in, but I, I think I, they are. But yeah, they so have to far. add new shit into it. I don't mind if it's just like the old cast of Eureka people because a lot of the Eureka characters were really awesome. Like mm -hmm. I'm still waiting for like the full Doctrine Dark reveal as well as uh, Cracker Jack. He was pretty awesome too. Mm -hmm. I think the trailers for the characters are kind of too short, to be honest. Kind of like uh, DBZ Fighters. It's kind of like you see them for like a sec, you see them do like a couple moves and you're done. That's all I need. My guess is they're being revealed that early in development. That's true. So as to maintain interest. And, well, there's a beta coming up soon. Yeah, sure. what do you guys think about that beta? You guys think it's going to be good? You guys think the server's going to die day one? I can't wait. Well, I can't wait either, personally. In case, open beta? In case, in case the servers did die, they have a training mode for people who don't have PS Plus. So, uh... That's, They've that's also shown off little dev videos every now and then where they demonstrate how quickly it takes for the game to load up when you select a different character inside the training mode. So they've been showing off things like that. Damn, they hold, they gave Tekken 7 to L on the loading screen. That shit loads quick! Like, no problem. Like, it was made for that console, boy. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I just hope that the the beta comes out good. I, I don't want it to have like that weird schedule Dragon Ball Fighter Z has. You guys know what I'm talking about? Oh, no worries, because the beta is up for like two weeks, so two whole weeks. Merry yep. Christmas, everyone. Speaking God of us. speaking of beta schedule, I need to put I need to talk about uh, Bandai Namco real quick. You see. This is not a fighters, but I question sometimes about Bandai Namco's beta schedule. You know, it, you know, people are uh, talking about well, this new Naruto game they're gonna release, and two days you have a chance to play this beta. Mm. Two. That that that's still not good. Like I don't understand what's Bandai Namco doing when it comes to beta scheduling. It's like, do they not want people give chance uh, give a chance to try out the game? They must have a dart board at the company with a bunch of numbers on it, and they throw a dart and they say, "Oh, two day beta." It's like they even gave us an extra day. I, mean, I know they had a way a lot of issues on the Xbox One version of Dragon Ball Fighters E, and mm. they didn't even bother to give them the extra day. Right. It's just ridiculous. Hmm. Well, I assume when it comes to a beta, they want to sort of minimize the amount of time or the amount of necessary time just so they can have as many people playing the game as possible testing server stability testing out like important netcode things but for two hours and then the next five hours later to try it again i'm guessing it's uh time zone related is this is this a worldwide beta yeah but it shouldn't be where it's like, oh, two hours, and then you gotta wait for like, was it when it ends? 
you gotta wait five hours later to try again. It's like it's it's probably there, so in case things get fucked up, they have a window to try and fix something. I think it's just weird, to be honest. It's, 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 it, like, they, it's they definitely should've... weird and a little inconvenient, but it's not without its purpose. Right. I, I would say it. at least not uh, not do, like, the two hours and then wait for, like, the next five hours. Thing. At least put, like, full three days where anyone can try it. I know. That sounds about right. Did we, uh, did we ever talk about the Dragon Ball Z... Fighters uh, season pass fiasco. I don't think we did. Uh, there's it's, a. Yeah, it's terrible. People, people are really upset because if you buy the Dragon Ball Z, I believe uh, which edition is. I think it's just collectors. You don't get the season yeah. pass, which is like what thirty bucks. That's yeah, the that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people really, uh, really on the uh, Dragon Ball Fighter train. Or, you know, everybody was like, "Oh, you know, this is the right way to do it. This is how you do it." But then they did the thing that nobody liked, and now everybody's kind of shaky about it. I mean, it's still gonna do well, but people aren't happy about it, obviously, because you know they didn't want people don't want DLC characters. They don't want to pay for more stuff. But it really depends on the pricing structure. Yeah, I think we need to talk about I mean, DLC for a bit. I get that it um, mm -hmm. expands the life of the game, mm -hmm. but don't announce DLC before the game's even out. Don't do that. Like, as far oh, yeah, as a lot this... of my games are doing that, so I'm not surprised. I mean, Injustice did it, like, immediately. I was like, oh, no. It's, it's unfortunately just bog standard for the industry to just be announcing DLC even before the game is out so it's just something you kind of have to deal with unfortunately even if it's bad so is the issue the fact that they're announcing that there is DLC coming before the game's out or is it the fact that there's DLC coming out at all I don't I don't mind DLC fine cool if I like it I'll pay for it but when they like say you know um there's going to be DLC fighters before the game initially launches. I'm like, yeah, that, <sighs> that was they, fine. They did this I mean, I was going to, mm. um, she was finished though. She had all her data and everything put, um, together. Mm -hmm. But she's pre-order exclusive only and then you got to pay for her separately, which is not part of season pass. That's kind of messed up. No. Now I got to ask you guys and I also have to ask the people in the chat. Uh, does it matter what date they tell you that DLC is coming. I mean, even if you're, they tell you before the game's out or after. Either way, uh, chances are you're buying that bitch. So, now, mm -hmm. go ahead. my personal opinion is you are better off waiting until after the game comes out because you saw what happened with Fighter Z, right? Mm -hmm. Thirty-five dollars season pass for what eight characters? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You should just wait until after the fact. But my question is like, why? Why is that? Why is it bad to, to ask? before the game's out because either way you're going to be paying for it you're just going to be spending money no matter what time they tell you the dlc exists it really depends on when the dlc <clears throat> exists like if it's so close to when the game's released why aren't they in the initial game hmm. boom yeah yeah it's just so, look at and... credits, that's like what, a couple months after um, the game released mm -hmm. yeah same with um mortal kombat 9 who was the first one Holy shit! Was it Kenshi or was it Scarlet? Kenshi was first. Okay, yeah, because they they did that like way after the game came out, and I was like, oh my god, fucking Kenshi! And then when I saw Rain, I nearly shat my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Rain's the most accidentally popular character out there, man. Yeah, <laughs> he's cool. That fucking super back kit. Why the hell he wasn't an X? I was mad about that. Yeah, he I was just in story. Don't well, not. Now, do you guys think that season passes are actually uh, the worst thing? Do you guys prefer season passes where you can have all the characters on lock, like you have them for sure, once they come out? Mm -hmm. Depends on the price. Depends on... It depends on who's the characters. That too, yeah. It yeah. mostly depends on who's in the bundle, and it depends on the bundle's price compared to buying... Uh, a piece of DLCs individually. 
Oh, and it depends if you get everything in that season pass. If not, then that's that's a waste of money. Yeah, there's a there's it's still looking at NRS and the MKX thing where there's a shitload yeah. of costumes you won't get mm-hmm. on the combat pass. Yeah, that was whack. Speaking of uh, going off what Kaneki said about depending on characters, we're gonna take it to injustice for a second. Uh, some oh, people in this podcast, <laughs> podcast, podcast, people, people in this podcast, are either gonna disagree with me or agree with me. It doesn't matter. People in the chat will say whatever they want. I love you, chat, but fuck y'all. I'm kidding. Uh, but uh, injustice, you guys heard about the new characters coming out. You have two DC characters, and then you have uh, the Ninja Turtles. Now, yeah. in my opinion, I think that's pretty dumb. Uh, it's pretty stupid because it's another guest character that has nothing to do with DC. I'm, 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 I'm aware that there is comic books with Ninja Turtles crossing over with Batman, but I just feel like if you're buying a season pass for DC characters, you you got you got five. Yeah, you you kind of don't get all DC characters, you're kind of getting stuff that you didn't think you were going to get. And I saw that, you know, when the uh, outrage was going on, when they got announced, I was reading through comments and salt, as I usually do. And I keep seeing people saying, well, you got DC characters from the base game. And they can do whatever they want with the DLC characters. What do you guys think about that? It's pretty fucking stupid because I got people like Gorilla Grodd instead of Plastic Man. Like, come on. Wait, who wants what is this? Man? I wanted Plastic Man, but no, I have to deal with Gorilla G- Grodd, whack ass. I hate him, <laughs> piece of shit villain. <laughs> and Poison Ivy, oh, oh. Yeah, I I could awful. live without Poison uh, Ivy. The main something. monster was meh for that game. I mean, I had I had made my own like Injustice Two DLC wish list, following the you know five DC and four guests. Mm. You know, Plastic Man, Red Tornado, Beast Boy, Booster Gold, Huntress. So do you guys think that, like, let's say uh, Street Fighter. Let's say Street Fighter, the base game comes out, the characters are there. Do you guys think that they can do whatever they want with their DLC? They can put whoever the fuck they want? Yes. Within they did that this season. season. They did do that. <laughs> they did do that. Hold on, I gotta well, rethink my question. <laughs> like... I mean, when it comes to that sort of thing, I mean, and NetherRealm Studios has been doing guest characters for a long time, so mm-hmm. it's something that should be expected. Not to mention it is, you know, they are allowed to make DLC whoever they want to be, and it's most likely, you know, coming down from WB more I feel than like, just NetherRealm Studios. I feel like if it's a it's a fighting game that's based off a certain, like, because uh, Injustice is DC fighters, it's DC fighting shits. Uh, Dragon Ball Z is Dragon Ball uh, fighting shits. So, would that mean that in the DLC, Dragon Ball can just say, you know what, I'm just going to add um, Don- Donald Duck? You want to add, uh, you know, I'm going to add these uh, random characters. I got to add, you know, pull shit out of my ass. Like, oh, yo, Buffy the Vampire. I mean, uh, Donald Duck throwing a Kamehameha, though, uh, that'd be hilarious. Uh, okay, well, here's the thing, though. Mm-hmm. Do I so will say kind of about that crossover. Mm-hmm. Now, let's look at Naruto, for example, as well. Mm-hmm. Bars that can cross over in Ninja Storm 2. Yeah, sure. I did not even... I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Yeah, it happened. I don't even... I don't follow Naruti. Same. <laughs> I it's will like say my least favorite about Vietnamese the Ninja cartoon. Turtles and Injustice 2 that this is definitely the strangest addition because it's every DLC character that's been introduced for Injustice 2 is a singular character. When you're talking about the Ninja Turtles, you were talking about four turtles. How is all of this going to work? Are you just going to I have choose a theory. between their weapons as gear? Mm. I have a theory. It okay. could be the trait. 
Yeah, I was gonna say your trait will probably allow you to switch between all four and of now them. You go up and trait button. Your Leonardo, right? Your Michelangelo, down. Ooh. Raphael, you get the idea. I'm gonna okay, uh, go ahead. Milo. You'll you'll start the fight as one of them. I, I, probably Leo, because Leo's the best. No, he's the leader. No. Oh, he no. has two kind of, swords. You know what it actually two reminds swords. me of? He's, he's a horrible hmm. leader. He's still you know what it reminds me of, though? What is the Roman name? Marvel vs. Capcom 1, Ryu. Yeah. One bar to change him into Ken's fighting style and Akuma's fighting style, etc. I love that. Um, I was going to rephrase what I said about the Street Fighter thing. Uh, Street Fighter, they told you all these characters are going to be new. Uh, this one, they kind of just said these are fighter packs. These are DLC of more DC characters, but then like they kind of didn't. The thing is, I know people are... Disclaimer, I don't like Injustice. I did not buy Injustice 2. Uh, so, you know, my word kind of means shit compared to everybody else's because of that. But the fact of the matter is, people were asking for a bunch of different characters like Roy Shack, uh, Static Shock. I'm sorry, that would have been stupid. And, and, and other characters, and they kind of they kind of got just Ninja Turtles... Raiden, Sub Zero, it's like, to me, it kind of is just like Ed Boon kind of just doing you know whatever he wants, and I get it, it's DLC, and he kind of can, but the fact of the matter is when you have people that have been asking for certain characters since Injustice One, and instead of giving them what they wanted, and you give them these odd choices in characters. It kind of. I, uh -huh. I agree, man. Street Fighter Season Two should have definitely been veterans and not new people. Yeah, I agree. Can I say how much of a great compromise Raiden was, where you could get a guest character, but if you get that little extra more, he turns into a DC character. Yeah, as much as I love Raiden, he it mm -hmm. should have been someone else, or you. Like yeah, it, could, it should have been that, or they should have just said, "Fuck you, Sub Zero, you're lame," and used Raiden. Didn't he is. he's lame? Who else was Who else was in the fighter pack this time? It was Ninja Turtles and who else? Sorceress Adam, and Adam. It was, it was Adam it. and Enchantress. Yeah. Or Enchantress. Adam looks cool. Didn't Didn't Enchantress get like uh, some sort of skin that was like based off another character that people wanted? Kind of like how I think somebody had like that Black Lightning outfit that was yeah um, we didn't haven't s seen gameplay of enchantress to my knowledge i was hearing no, that somebody actually, got a skin. i think adam comes out next week hmm. oh yeah yeah he does at least for you know the ultimate edition only i'm gonna Somebody. wait for the ninja turtles don't give a damn about adam anyway speaking I of a, i don't give two shits about enchantress speaking about weird picks for fighting games how about that noctis oh, in uh tekken I can't wait. Why though? Rest in peace, Soul Calibur so Six. Mm. <laughs> I'm ready to eat my words on Bandai Namco's event, but boy, that's a Soul Calibur character pick for sure. Nobody would have bat an eye if he was in Soul Calibur Six, but him being in second is just <laughs> why. But but of all the Final Fantasy characters, you go with freaking Justin Timberlake. Like, what is wrong with you? Huh? Oh, man, Justin Timberlake. What are you talking about, I, sir? I'm black here, though. Knock this yeah, I was going. I was. About? I was going for the the boy band analogy, and the first one I thought of was Justin Timberlake. They're, they're, they're <laughs> back, back street. Back streets back. <laughs> oh, if he gets a fucking Backstreet Boys uh, skin, that'd be hilarious. Oh man, stop, stop. I'm sure you'll be able to give him some pop star looks. I, I agree with Rad. Red. He's kind of a weird pick for tech, and he's more uh, he fits more with Soul Calibur than anything else. I, Absolutely. Don't get me wrong. I love Noctis. I love Noctis. He used to be my uh, my avatar before uh, Akira from P5. But uh, it's just it's weird, dude. It's really weird. Oh yeah. Someone in the chat said it should have been Kiryu from Yakuza. Oh, oh another one. Seriously. Oh. Okay, I'm actually getting tired of people. Saying it should have been Kiryu. Go ahead, preach. No oh, Kiryu. <clears throat> preach it. I would have preferred that because that makes a little more sense. But I, I personally, nice though, but it mm -hmm. had a pick from a Sega brand. It would have been Ryu Hatsuki because he's getting a new game coming out. Okay. Now, I would have just flat out put Akira from Virtua Fighter in the game. 
no, or Kagamaru, or either or. Or Kagamaru. That's also. Is a good that one. the ninja? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What were I didn't you learn saying? How to pronounce his name right for years. What were you saying, like I? I I personally think that if we're gonna keep it at a theme of Final Fantasy, I would personally pick Tifa or mm. Sabin. Oh yeah, fucking uh, <laughs> grapple a damn train. Tifa uh, would make the most sense. Cloud. They have to remind people remake is still in the cards. We <clears> think. <throat> mm -hmm. Just bring no, back no. Eric Ace and let everybody be happy with it. No, they should have put in lightning. No, no, okay. Uh, our time is <laughs> over. No, our games are finished. Not this time. Oh, <laughs> um, I'm surprised. Someone <laughs> said uh, they will not see Kiryu attacking. <laughs> Mm. Sega Tashan Shiro, though. <laughs> Bayonetta Sega and Tekken. Sega Tashan Shiro. Sega ta. <laughs> if anything, Damn. I want Armored King to return in Tekken. Thank you, Armored King. We need him back. Armored King is beast. Uh, I play two people in Tekken. Law and... Uh, oh, yeah, Law. Uh, oh, God. What's his name? Lee? I think it's Lee. There's yeah, only King Lee. for me. <laughs> I play everyone in Tekken. You do that command grab where he rolls on the floor and whoops your ass? Oh, yeah. What else do you do? The Death Cradle with King? Darren, that's what it's called. I do that too with King. And I get it off every time. Jesus yeah, I'm, Christ. I'm, I'm doo doo with them grapplers. Speaking. Someone made a. Good. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I could I'm play sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. Someone made like an art picture on Twitter of King versus uh, Tizoc. Um, Garo. Oh, that's cool. He's yeah, the that king of dinosaurs thing. now. Come on. <laughs> it's his new gimmick. I love the king <laughs> of dinosaurs, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Second favorite king of fighter character. Just saying. Speaking of uh, Soul Calibur, did you guys hear about the Soul Calibur rumor that's been going around? Yes. Yep. I believe it's still just that. I'm waiting. Yep. If it gets announced, sweet. That's nice. Don't fuck it up. Forget everything you did regarding Soul Calibur Five. <laughs> Get oh, yeah. the fuck out of my Soul Calibur. But if it happens, sweet. If it's not, We're oh well, it's more time. Four? It's more resources for Tekken Seven. I personally weren't, don't want it to happen. Weren't, weren't Supers in Four? No. No. Uh, no there were armor breaks in Four. That, there were yeah, we there were fatalities in Four. Yeah. Okay, yeah, now we just gotta bring back Yoda as the guest character. Yes. <laughs> no! <laughs> They're gonna bring back you. the apprentice. They're gonna bring oh, Ray. Yes. <laughs> nah. The fucking hitbox with him is horrible. Bring back if Assassin anything, from Soul Calibur 2. No, if no, anything, put in Pilo guy. Ren is your guest character. Oh, yeah. Doom guy. Oh, uh, yeah, Pilo Man. Is that Doom guy? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I That'd be a good Mortal Kombat pick. I looked on my desk and there was Doom, and I was like, yeah, he'd be funny. DJ Blaskowitz. <laughs> eh, I'd Who's... like to see him in a fighting game. That's not is it Bandai game. Namco that does uh, Soul Calibur? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. It's a lot of fucking fighting games. Uh, also, adding to these this news, uh, I guess did they officially announce? They did officially announce that they're doing the My Hero Academia something. We don't know if it's like a fighter or a no. uh, Xenoverse thing. No, we don't know <laughs> if it's it... a. Oh, mm -hmm. no, we don't know if it's a fighter or some people are saying it's like it's gonna be like a Naruto Ultimate Ninja thing. If it, if it's a Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm thing, I will not buy it. I will not care. That could get off my fighting game list <clears throat> for eternity. Now I'm gonna re ask this question that I asked a while back when they announced they were doing um another fighting game. Is oh no, that was for uh another company, but is Bandai doing way too many fighting games i know you're afraid that this is going to hinder their uh progression of other fighting games that they're currently working on already not at all honestly no because they have released one one by one and namco is not a small company they have a lot of studios working on a lot of things so no they're not working on too many things or whatever mm -hmm. trying, yeah, because they got what tekken they have uh DBZ, now they have this, if they are making it into a fighter. I actually would prefer it being a fighter. That would be awesome. Like, Bandai Namco is a huge studio. They have tons of development teams. They have tons of space to work on all of that. They are a strong empire, one of the most profitable Japanese uh, game publishers. <clears throat> hmm. 
I don't think the, them getting all the fighting games mm -hmm. interferes with one another. If anything, uh, their dev teams would help each other out, like carry a little bit of the weight of developing the game. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense to me. Uh, moving on a little bit. Oh, go ahead, Brendan. Uh, or somebody. I, I was going <laughs> to say something uh, about Bandai Namco making too much fighting games. Yeah. Uh, there are several different fighters. You got your 3D fighters, your 2D fighters, mm. anime fighters, and the Naruto style, the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm style games. Those are mm -hmm. technically called arena fighters. Mm -hmm. So you classify the arena fighters as well. So Xenoverse 1 and 2, those are arena fighters. <laughs> like most of the uh, anime fighters based off of like Shonen Jump properties, that's on the Bandai side. The Namco side is just handling Tekken and Soul Calibur like they always have. Yeah. When are we getting that sweet fairy tale fighter? <laughs> That sweet, oh. sweet fairy tale. With the guy with jump the owl head? I feel mm. like you've gotten that by now, and it's on a portable. Oh god, it's on a what phone. What about that? Hmm? What about that Hunter X Hunter fighting game? Dude, I I cannot. Uh, we're not talking about fighting games right now, but I cannot get into Hunter X Hunter just because the art of like the main character is like garbage. The uh, artwork in quotation marks. Yeah, I can't. I can't get jiggy with like the I'm, how it looks. I'm, I'm catching yeah. up with the rest of the world. Um, a friend of mine showed me the infamous turkey in <laughs> Hunter Hunter. What? Oh, oh no, it's like this highly detailed turkey dinner, and then there's like fucking napkin sketches below it that they call art. It's so crazy. I Watch got it. He fell off. Sounds funny. Oops, yeah, that's, that's so not funny. the right spot. There we go. All right, let's move on a bit because we're running, almost running out of time here. <laughs> that is bizarre. <clears throat> the hell? The fuck? Shut yeah, up. there it is. That's the turkey. It's like the artist got. We're we're looking at the uh the thing that Radder was talking about. It looks like the uh the artist took all of his time doing the turkey. Then he got real tired. And he was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna doodle the rest." Half this shit. <laughs> Son, could you finish Daddy's manga for him? <laughs> Daddy needs to go. Uh, okay, wham okay. his oinko boingo. Oh, your mom they should not make him. a. They should not make a bleach fighting game. Oh no. Can Daddy I play has that to turkey finish in his X Dragon game? Quest playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where they am not, I? They should not make a Bleach Fighter again. No, no. They made so many of them. No, and they're terrible, so no, no. I, I think the DS games are pretty good. How can we forget... Is this an anime? How can we forget that Tekken just got Geese Howard into their fighting game? Uh, Holy Geese, shit! Geese was just released a couple days ago, or yesterday? When was this official release? Yesterday? Thursday. Yes. The 30th. Yep, at the end of November. Yeah. If you had told me six months ago that Akuma and Geese would be in the same fighting game, and neither Capcom or SNK had anything to do with publishing it, then I would kindly be asking you for Powerball numbers now. <laughs> oh, that's unpredictable. That's a new CVS, man. Shit. It's and only Capcom versus SNK3. Now the question is, would you want Capcom versus SNK3 or SNK versus Capcom Chaos 2? Just give me more fighters, I don't care. Neither, I want Tekken <laughs> versus Fatal Fury. Because technically you'd be asking, do you want Capcom to make it or do you want SNK to make it? At SNK. this point, Capcom. Really? I want Marvel versus DC, Because that's just because I'm a nerd. Because if you want SNK to make it, you'll get Chaos 2. And if you want Capcom to make it, you'll make it. You'll probably, I'm not going to say you will, you'll probably, hopefully, get <laughs> Capcom versus SNK 3, respectively. Because with, with Chaos, it felt like SNK just put together a Neo Geo game with mm -hmm. their SNK properties, and like you have a dozen Capcom guest characters. With Capcom versus SNK, you have all these different styles that mimic and emulate meters from Street Fighter, King of Fighters, Samurai Showdown, you can have your trademark style as close as you can get it in a Capcom vs. SNK game. That's why I want Capcom to develop it because they will try to put together systems that are similar 
to previous Capcom and SNK fighting games. <laughs> Nothing gets really lost in translation. I mean, some moves will get lost in translation, as is tradition. Mm -hmm. God, I'm... But it's just not the same if I don't have uh, that uh, KOF advanced style. I really miss grooves. I wish grooves were like in almost everything. Yeah. I want to have a choice to pick between parry or doing the little roll. Yeah, are we talking about Capcom versus SNK two? Yeah, because we were kind of talking about what we'd like to see in Capcom versus SNK three. So Bre I'm gonna ask you, Brandon, since I don't think you heard, would you rather have Capcom versus SNK three, which is made by Capcom, or have SNK versus Capcom two Chaos, which is made oh. by SNK? Personal preference, I'd rather have um, um, Capcom vs. SK3, but I wouldn't mind both. Cause I still, I love to like see them make a sequel to their version of their crossover. Hmm. So I wouldn't mind both. Okay. As long as Capcom can focus on maintaining the presentation, because holy shit, Capcom vs. SK2, that UI, the transitions, the graphical style to it. Hmm. It seriously felt like a real tournament. Should it be 3D or 2.5D or whatever? Or should it be straight face? Because, you know, the problem was Morgan used her old model, like, from the 90s when they were making that um, game. They got so much mileage out of that sprite, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Uh, yeah, I I'd go with the Capcom, but I'm not going to guarantee that it's going to be, uh what people want because going off the track record that they're going by now you know capcom versus snk2 was made by old capcom uh now looking at the new one i'm not sure i'd say still capcom versus snk3 but i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna say it with confidence that it would come out amazing no it wouldn't it would be different that's for sure yeah you know speaking of which though what kind if they bring back the groove system, what type of grooves should they use for each one of them? Same one okay. as the uh, uh, the second one have. Uh, at least I want one with a V trigger type um groove. Oh, I feel like V trigger would just be um, a universal system, not necessarily something exclusive to a groove. Oh. Because if you're making V trigger, you're making V trigger for every member of the cast. Right. Wait, isn't like the next mode thing exclusive to a groove in um in that game? Like we charge up and you get like this little meter. I yeah. What it's called, but um, if that's the case, then why um V trigger can't be locked behind a um groove. For the new, for the uh, fake yeah, for, game yeah, that we're thinking of. For for the new hypothetical SNK three. Yeah, if they were smart, they would just be like, oh, a new groove has appeared, and they'd add that groove with the V triggers and such. I'd I'd take that. Yeah. Um, Psycho made a good point in the chat she asked uh what about a tag system instead of you know the regular s and k mm, one guy no. died oh you wouldn't like that no okay. honestly that would be marvel versus capcom right now i'd rather have it just you need to keep it kof style one person gets ko'd you fight the next person in line hmm. yeah i yeah. agree i don't want that That's you already fun. have a capcom fighting game with a tag system <clears throat> it's good enough also going uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken or <laughs> no, I guess not. Oops. Well, Bra no. Brandon liked that game. Uh, I wasn't yeah, a fan. I didn't think it was ass. I thought it was. It was okay. alright at first. I I, I yeah, can go back and play I, it. Uh, to be honest, that's how I first uh, heard about most of the Tekken characters. Absolutely not the worst thing. Mm -hmm. I was gonna ask, but I forgot something that Brandon said. Shit. Well, oh, fuck it. No, nah, it wasn't about the groove system. It was something else. Don't worry about it. I'll remember uh, when I go to sleep. <laughs> let's let's move on. I think we're almost done with this, to be honest. Uh, let's see what else we have. NBCI, what do you guys think about the new characters, which include Winter Soldier, uh, Black Widow, and Venom? Um, Please keep your, Black Widow? keep your NBCI bias aside. Please. New Chris, new Jill, okay. and Venom. Yes. In total honesty, mm -hmm. I feel like Black Widow, 
as much as she's important, as much as she's like a key Avengers character in this particular <laughs> game, she's a waste of a slot. Thank I agree. You. Does she do the head scissor that she does in every fucking movie in MVCI or it's no? It's her level three. It is? Um, Somewhat. That's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> it's the only is, thing she does. This is a bit of a nitpick here, but for fuck's sake, guys, her name is Natasha Romanoff. She was from Russia, and she still does not have a Russian accent. What is wrong with you? Shut up, that's why. They're going it's off the Star Joe and do a Russian Charlie accent. Charlie Johansson mm -hmm. happened. Hmm. Awesome. Winter Soldier, I'm actually okay with. I feel like his move list could be a little less grenadey, but oh, that's he's, he's just a he uses a lot of grenades. RL. Pineapple surprise. Yeah. He's, he's just a better version of Chris, basically. And it's just like, can we just delete have... Chris from the game now? Just he get rid of him. Shit, shit, I punch love punch stinks. Shit, I love about fucking Winter Soldier is the. Uh the arm thing where he can put his arm up and then he can pretty much just eat supers all day yeah that's, that's fucking crazy. cool where's the mask though probably alt or another his alt is just a wife beater though. i know I, I, that's why i kind of corrected myself probably another costume i'm not sure and people got oh, triggered the... by that alt they thought it was wolverine and i'm all hmm. <laughs> a lot of the alt costumes kind of stink like that unfortunately but that, that one's pretty good uh anti-venom right that one's pretty good I have Actually, no idea. I want to talk about Venom. Go ahead. Oh boy. I don't like his voice. No yeah, one does. His, his, his voice actor is good at what he does, <clears throat> but I don't think that he is a good Venom voice. I believe it is a miscast. There you go. That, that sounds way more like Carnage. Yeah. Gameplay-wise, I think Venom looks cool. <laughs> they put all the money nice in that him. He has the, the Death Bite super to just throw your opponent across the screen. Hold on, if, if someone's gonna say Venom does not look cool, I need you to get out because Venom is like the best looking character in that fucking game right he now. Yeah, no, he does. He looks cool. Damn. I said Boy. they put all the money in him. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he's the best roster in that DLC. Yeah, he looks cool, absolutely. He just doesn't sound no, cool. Oh, I agree. They need to fix yeah. his, his voice and his ultimate. I am not a fan of Venom's new ultimate. I don't... Uh, I, that, <clears throat> go ahead. I think on Twitter somewhere, someone took Venom's voice and just pitched it down and it oh, sounded yeah. perfectly fine. I think and it was Maximilian. I think so, yeah, but it did sound much better and Venom really should have like a deeper voice. I yeah. don't know why he sounds like Carnage in this game. I think it should have like overlapping voices so it's like two people talking instead of just him. Even though it wasn't like that in the other one. But yeah, they needed like a deeper voice dude because he kind of sounds more like a Carnage than anything else to be honest. I know who they it needed. I got think it. that mm -hmm. the Eddie Brock they have representing Venom is younger. Hmm. They needed Toe for Grace to come back and do it. <laughs> they beat me to the punch, son of a bitch. <laughs> Need Red Foreman. Oh, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Speaking Dumbass. of Red Foreman, I watched Robocop today, so. <laughs> Bitches leave. Oh, man. I think Venom looks cool. His moveset is really interesting, and, you know, it's it's Venom. They didn't really change too much. They gave him, like, what, a, a symbiote trap, which basically it's a, it's a thing that grabs you if you're going airborne, and you can just continue the combo. I'm really excited about Venom. His uh, alt uh, anti-Venom looks great. If uh, any of you guys or people in the chat haven't seen it, please look at it. Uh, I think Winter Soldier is also cool. I think the grinding like rubbing his knuckles against the floor into the punch shit is real cool that that's super and uh what do you question, actually. oh good um well, how do you guys feel about them added in like unique level three supers i was about to ask that i yeah. really hope this is a trend because it helps utilize the idea of creating teams with a specific theme <clears throat> to them mm-hmm and that's something that a friend and I really enjoyed about Marvel vs. Capcom 2. You could sort of make an Avengers team in that game if you wanted to. You can get creative with the like types of teams you can put together. Hmm. And uh, MVCI has this nice little uh, reward for having these two characters together on a team. Got and it. it's nice. And I really hope that they added more stuff like this down the line. That's super so fucking cool, dude. Even though it doesn't, you know, it's not the most glamorous looking thing, but just the fact that those two dudes uh, come out 
and say the exact well not the exact same thing but they help each other out it's really fucking awesome i just wish it wasn't called unyielding justice nah. like they could have had a different name no, it's called you know, Iron Man level Mirror. threes american brother oh if i if war machine comes out and then war machine iron man have something that'd be pretty funny uh, what would ghost rider go with um car ghost rider Remove from the game. You know, to, speaking of... Mm-hmm. Probably with Morgan. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking Spider-Man, because he did cross over with him a few times in the comics. But... Yeah, can we get a Dude, Spider-Man? fucking Spider-Man cross Venom uh, level 3 super would be fucking awesome. <clears throat> surf the web, super. <laughs> surf the web, surf the web. Yeah, so shut funny. up, bro. I love that game. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has any thoughts. Like, guy, do you have any thoughts on the uh, NBC? I know you don't probably play it. Uh, I don't really care for it, to be honest. Not sorry, there, I haven't said it. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, I haven't said anything. That's cool. Uh, actually, we're almost done. We have like two more things we need to talk about. It's gonna be real quick though. Uh, new skins. Uh, we got for Street Fighter Five. We got the new nostalgia costume birdie for Mr. Hades Manicor here, who's been asking for it forever why the shades though i was gonna ask you that i'm not sure where those shades come from because i I don't either they Uh, they mm -hmm. for some reason they add these little things to some of the nostalgia skins like jury has like the the sleeves or the jacket or whatever the hell it was and they Mm -hmm. just give birdie a random pair of shades it's just like why just leave it that's just pretty funny. Uh, I don't know. I thought that that was like, you know, they have like little secret buttons for you to like to add or take away some of the costume. But uh, I think that's default, ain't it? The shades are default. I think so. If you slugged them in the face and they broke, that'd be cool. But why are they there, period? I have no idea. Like, like the guile thing in Street Fighter Four, where you can put them on or take them off. It doesn't Wesker's make sense. Wesker's glasses, too. It doesn't yeah. make sense to me because he'd never had it in the old games. Yeah, he never did. I even go back to Street Fighter One when he was white. It was really weird. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when he was like, actually he was slim. sick back then. <laughs> yeah, that was their excuse. What did he have? I can't remember. So we oh, got. Yeah, uh, I was uh, I was uh, sick. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so oh, yeah, he's slim. <laughs> oh Jesus! So we got the buff birdie, the one that you know we all familiar with. We got we got a uh, nostalgia Kareen. Which looks amazing. I really love her uh, nostalgia Hell costume. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got One the of my favorite short skirts. Ooh. What? Uh oh. Uh, the uh, nostalgia Kareen probably getting ready for a certain character coming out soon, which Sodom. we'll talk about. Sodom. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, Sodom. I hope so. God. Well, how about first, please? I uh, I'm I'm lost. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, yeah. the last new skin. Uh, not the last. We got a couple. Uh, is the Barlog got his nostalgia skin, which looks cool in my opinion. The I like best it. Skin. I like that one. Um, Chun Li got a, a bunch. Her closet yes. continues to grow, uh, in size and You're mass. You're telling me Chun Li got a new costume? Get out of here! She got three <laughs> more. Hey, what? Some she of five is the Chun Li city. Right some of them costumes, though, dude. I love to death like the alpha one and that other one that i don't know that one if you put like a code to that one her hair comes down and that one looks real <gasps> good <laughs> clearly, I'm just all Street Fighter these, Five. clearly all these chun li costumes are coming with a nerf for season three i don't know <laughs> they're still putting out costumes for like one of the shittiest characters in the game currently yeah yeah i I'm yeah. glad to see the alpha outfit back because I have no idea why they took so long to put out all the alpha costumes for everybody. Mm. And I really personally do like Alpha Chun. Mm. I like her like Riot Squad attire too. That one also looks really nice. Yeah, with a mid draft. <laughs> <laughs> I-, I like the costume where it's just like somewhat like this, but with her hair down. Yeah, I think it's this one. It's like the secret code button you need to do it so her hair comes down. And uh, the alpha outfit as well is one of my favorites. Hmm. I don't think I spelled that word right. But I don't think she needed another cop costume. Just get rid costume. of the E and you're good. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't think she needed another cop costume, to be honest. She yeah. got that weird cowboy costume in NBC. I still don't get that one. Uh, it's supposed to be her um, 
normal girl Street Fighter Two outfit. Yeah, there was like a, like a cowboy. Yeah, there's like a somebody made like artwork about it. I mean, from it, what? they they That's showed weird. it to prove it. Um, we're gonna move on to the Christmas costumes. Uh, one that I love heavily. Yeah, that. Oh fucking, yeah, that's the I one. See. That's the uh the Rainbow Six one. <laughs> New operative coming soon. New she renegade gonna go operative. Fighting Raccoon yeah. City next. Yeah. Well, I mean, she is a police officer, so. Yeah, well, she already you has wait, one. You wait for that RE2 remake news and playable Chun Li. That'd be pretty funny. Oh my God, he can just go around kicking she'll, zombies. Yeah. She'll, mm-hmm. she'll throw her uh she'll throw her key coke in at zombies. <laughs> projectile sounds useful dude re2 remake with capcom heroes mode i'm fucking psyched <laughs> bring oh. back tofu let's no, go that would be my dream game all right christmas costumes uh alex finally got a christmas costume which looks Yay. funny and cool uh, i'm just gonna say this right now my next day off i'm gonna be doing a christmas themed uh alex stream i have the christmas background i mean the uh the stage i'm gonna be uh beating people up in my sun outfit but uh minot got one and colleen got her frozen one what do you guys think about these costumes let it go hmm. still no santa birdie i'm still pretty upset about that maybe oh, next year and toy soldier guile or nutcracker come on yeah that's a good idea too but it's just like let's just make more i feel like skins, Capcom, i guess here's my it's resume weird. <laughs> Call me for an interview. I got them skin ideas. Here they need need a new community manager. You could apply for that if you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like each year you're gonna have like a <clears throat> more characters gonna have like Christmas skins. So maybe next year or the year after that. Or, the or they'll just that. keep giving it to the women since Cammy got a second one this time out too. I mean, you know, they sell. Yeah, hey, I'm fine with it. I mean, them, that's it. with them thighs though. Hmm. That's if Street Fighter Five is still alive after two years. Well, it depends on season three. If they got, if they what bring all the characters that people want, maybe. Hold on. Why mm-hmm. does she have cat ears? She's a. Uh, that's it's her. That's a cat. That's her thing. No, not that one. Uh, Cammy. Cammy likes cats. There you go. Yeah, I was about to say that. Listen, Japan I loves like cats. Them. Japan loves ja- uh, cat. Let's say like Japs. Cats. Wait, you really, <laughs> wait, hold on. You really don't know she likes cats? Nippon loves their Nekos, that's for yeah. sure. I, I don't follow Street bunnies. Fighter lore that heavily. <laughs> no, it's the easiest to know about her. You just put cat ears and cat paws on anything and send it to Japan, they'll love it. Yeah. Lucky Chloe, man. Point, That one mm-hmm. chick from Darkstalkers. Oh, no, no. Exactly. Felicia. Uh, Felicia. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, that's the one. But yeah, those are the those are the costumes slash skins. Uh, let's get into this uh, leak, not leak, these little uh, rumors and little uh, hints at things. We got the uh, Red Bull tournament ended, and they showed us the new abilities and V triggers. What do you guys think about these new abilities and V triggers? These really feel like a lot of unused ideas, especially Ken's new V-Trigger essentially being Shinryu Ken. I think that'd be a lot better than his old one. That being said, I welcome the idea of new V-Triggers, new character styles, new variety. Mm -hmm. It helped out Street Fighter 4 a hell of a lot (laughs) having the ultra combo choice. Mm -hmm. And as long as the V-Triggers are, like, good... I'm just going to say flat out, as long as they are good. That's that's kind of my worry, because Mm -hmm. it seems to me all the V-Triggers are just, like, combo extensions, and that's it. And I play Birdie, so it's just like, am I really going to opt to take a combo extension over Enjoy Time, which actually makes me, like, a top-tier character, if only for the duration of that bar, you know? Just, Mm. I don't know if it'll be relevant enough to me, personally, but... Mm. Is that what the uh, new birdie uh, V trigger is? Is the combo extender? It's what all they are. Mm. They all That's are. What they seem like. <laughs> they all they are. We can't talk good. Really curious to see what. Uh, to America. What Alex's is because his is already a combo extender. Brandon, you were gonna say something. I would say like I didn't see the video or the new V triggers, whatever. So mm-hmm. I can't comment. That's gotcha. All. Um, I think they're gonna be pretty cool. I'm not sure how they're gonna do. Um, when you actually play with them, maybe it'll be broken, maybe it won't. You know how fighting games are. 
I just hope that they fix Alex and give him buffs because God knows he needs them badly. Maybe even more than Birdie does. Uh, I mean, Jury comes mm-hmm. first. <laughs> yeah, Jury's. I hope game. they buff. Jury's they buff not even too. in the game. Yeah. Oh, gosh. oh, yeah. Nash used to be so cool back in the beginning of the game. Nash used to be in the game. Yeah. Cut all his limbs sawed off, basically, until that game worked. But fuck all that uh, ability shit. Uh, We got Sakura Flowers coming down from the tournament as they ended Mm, the uh, stream. People are saying these Sakura... Sakura? These Sakura oh, flowers are hints of Sakura being the first character to be revealed, but <laughs> there Can was I another touch the booty? <laughs> No. <laughs> there was Aww. another there was another <laughs> hint at a character from a Twitter account. Which Twitter account from Capcom was it? Was it, it... was Capcom Europe, I wanna say? Yeah, they had like a little pixelated hard to see, but you know what the fuck it was, Sodom. Uh, yeah, baby. I was hearing that they were supposed to have Sodom in at the beginning, but they replaced him with Birdie, I think. Yeah, they said he couldn't fit into the story, which makes no sense because he literally could have fit the exact same role as Birdie. And he's a dirty weeb, so he would have loved to work for Karin. <laughs> exactly, so... Let th- me tell all you all about that fitting in that Lara did in the story mode. I don't <laughs> buy that excuse for a fucking second, Capcom. It, she doesn't even have a line of dialogue after she, she so. joins. She has a couple lines and that's it! It's so Sean funny. has more dialogue than she does. I love Sean. People like Sean. I like Sean. I hope he's a... I don't like Sean. Oh yeah, Sean that's his uh, brother, right? I don't, like how, I don't like how oh, he looks, no. but... Don't bring back Sean with the Street Fighter 5 move. He looks horrible we'll have to wait for the nostalgia for people to touch him again um but they hinted at sodom being also in the roster not sure I why i don't like sodom but so every... rocks man the last alpha character do we do we need more mad gear characters in our uh <laughs> i would give up abigail for sodom in a heartbeat That's i thought fuck... I, I wouldn't i would not i would I i'd rather not. have I'd rather have Guy than Sodom. There you go. You got Zeku now. Deal with it. Yeah, Yeah. Zeku is your new guy. Zeku's pretty cool. Everyone is saying the wrong name. Everyone knows that Dan Habiki needs to be in the game. He should be in the Well, he is in the the game. He works at the Capcom shop. As the secret final boss. And he whooped your ass. It'll be funny. Unfortunately, we did not get to see anything like like we did last year with uh, Akuma doing his uh, Raging Demon. But hopefully at PSX we get to see, and I hope they don't do the silhouette thing. I just hope that they do silhouettes, but they they have the names of the characters like they did in season one, because I, I just want to know who the fuck it is. Stop, stop making yeah. me wait. Just tell they me. They really made me feel not like they did that because they had a clear idea of who was going to be in what pack. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just kind of just... tired with it. Mm-hmm. Just, just reveal them. Don't, don't make me. I'm just, very just much. Just tell us who you have yeah. in mind. Just tell where us. Am I'm... Putting... Where am I putting my fight money towards? Don't, don't let us have Akira uh, get in there and ex Kira and fucking get in there and mine shit, and then we have to speculate yeah. if it's true or not. Yeah, just I, I, I'm Ex-Kira very discouraged from mine stuff. Spoil the like surprise that. one way or another. You might as well beat him to the punch. First of all, ex Kira is a fucking dirty liar because he said we would get like uh, a mini trailer for. Sagat in their Red Bull that's tournament. Also, that's also what bothers me about x You are a data miner. You are not a speculator. Yeah, you can't data mine real life shit. I don't know. Maybe they just know. lost it like the Alex trailer. They just don't know where it went. God. I remember, oh. man, people still make fun of that to this day. Because it's funny. <laughs> wait, wait, make fun of what? You know, they didn't have an Alex trailer. When they, when people are about to announce something, they're like, oh, Alex trailer in the chat because there was supposed to be something at final round and there just wasn't they told you to go home Hmm. (laughs) get lost losers slam the door on you show's over so it seems to me that Sakura and uh, Sodom are gonna be in I do hope Sagat is in I'm pretty sure he's in because he's in the the little artwork and shit and they have the you know, when you do arcade mode, you have to pick which series of Street Fighter, and obviously Street Fighter 1, so gotten into the BN. Yeah. yeah. So he's going to be in there. We're not getting Eagle, I hope he's like... Ah, so I'm sorry, but I don't want Eagle. Eagle would be cool, I think, but I mean, you can't really not put in the King of Muay Thai, you know? Exactly. 
What about Adon? Adon, please, please. No. I'm just gonna make that joke. Damn it! I fucking love Adon. Voice doesn't suck. Then yeah, sure, add in Adon. Adon's, Adon's voice in four wasn't that bad. That was yeah. horrible. What about yeah. Relento? Wait, wait, wait. Fuck the Relento. English one? The English one? Hold yeah, on. Damn, think... put that shit the Japanese then. Get. I did. Um, think think about this for a second. All right, Venom's voice actor, Adon. Makes oh, makes more no. sense. Makes more oh, sense. No. Is it's, it Adon supposed to be older than that? I know, but he kind of sounds like the Street Fighter Four voice actor. Hold on, I'm gonna check that right now. Sounds like Adon as Venom. No, no. Give me a second. It's a little too wimpy. Just a little bit. But I, that's I'm all out of news. I'm out, you know, hands are empty now. It's the same guy that voices Yun in Street Fighter Four. Yeah, I fuck. Please don't. Not push. Johnny Young Bosch then. Gotcha. Please don't put Yun and Yang back in the fucking Whoa. game. <laughs> no Yang. What if they're the same character? Oh my god. Just like Capcom with SNK two. Fuck off. You get oh, Yang you get in the... the super. You get Yang in the V trigger. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Their their fighting styles are different though. I know, yeah. but everybody hated uh, fighting uh, young. I hated fighting young. Also, yeah. well, their fighting style only became different because of Second Impact. They were clones oh, of each other when they were first revealed. What'd you say, Brandon? What's so bad about them? I don't get it. Yun has they're that. Su- Go ahead. <clears throat> I was gonna say they're top tier. Like Yun and Yang were top tier in a third strike. They're oh, too good. That's why. Yun maybe. Yun has that one super. That gives him multiple hits on you, and you're pretty much done if the person really knows what they're doing, which is most of the people. Oh, well, bring him back. No. Nah, <laughs> uh, are we still waiting on Italian Sound to show us something? Uh, it is, he is not the same guy from uh, Street Fighter. Okay. That well, you were talking about. No, nah, uh, I wasn't saying he was. I was saying what what you guys think if his voice actor was Adon. Oh, yeah. No, I, I don't remember. Oh, well. But he was in uh, X-Files. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Uh, he was in Borderlands, the pre-sequel, as Kroger. Mm. Dawn Gate as Basco. Oh, Don Gabe. And two Don. of the Command and Conquer games. He was also in Persona Ultimax. And what the hell is Joe. this game? Oh, shit. Shomanazuki. Yep. Hey, guys, did anyone see about this? Hold on, let me post this. Breaking news, what is this? Has Damn, anyone played that? Punch Planet at all? No. Dang. <laughs> the fuck is this? Oh, I it. hope this is about cows. Oh, pony. Oh, it's, about, pony it's a fighting, fighting game. game. Pony. Get well, it out of my face. Been in development. I guess now they have a release date. Shout out to Skilly. I'm not. I mean, we never talk about it on the podcast, so we might as well. There's you probably know, a good reason. <laughs> I'm not talking about this. What do you say, Brandon? <laughs> is for girls. Oh, hell no. Skilly is pony. <laughs> Skilly is our, uh, our, uh, or not brony. It's like, what do you call a female brony? Just pony? A gr- a Peg's sister, I think. She, don't ask me. Is that a Bob that? Burgers thing? I don't know. I don't know. Skeely is a, a pony. Is, but I don't know. She mm-hmm. likes the uh, MLP shit. I mean, I, I mean into it, but you know, shout out to you. Also, one last question. Mm-hmm. Have you guys seen this movie? The Street Fighter movie, right? Here? Uh, maybe. Uh, no. 2011. Yeah, no. this right here has probably my favorite eight on voice actor. I don't know who his name is. I can't find him. Is he in all. there for a good while, or is he just? Oh, I'm well, here. The guy is behind with my reel, so that's something. Because I know, I think it was like the Alpha one, or one of them. And Dan is in it too, where Adon and Dan show up, and they say like one line, and they're gone. <laughs> yeah, Birdie beats the shit out of Dan, doesn't he? I yeah. Think... If we're thinking of the same movie, at least. I'm not sure if that's the one where Ryu has like a, a an brother. army. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that or like a ghost army. <laughs> No, 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 oh, the, the one with uh, Rhea with the little brother, that's the movie with uh, Dan. The mm. movie. Oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to watch blur this together one. for me. <laughs> we got to watch this then. Let's watch the original the, Street Fighter movie. Of... Oh, with, with uh, uh, what's his face? John Claude Van Damme? Yeah, and Raul Julia. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. uh, Ew. 
What were you saying, Rad Rad? on the subject of Capcom, I want to talk about this monster patch coming to Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite this week. Rip Dante. AKA, we got tired of people playing Dante Reality Stone. Alright, what is it? I thought you posted that. It's a patch that the game is not even three months old, and they have essentially decided to take Dante out back and just pop two in his head. Oh yeah, he, he needed that, because Dante was... Uh, I know he's supposed to be OP, like, uh, storyline-wise, but It feels he's... like every move got, like... Destroyed. Yeah, six downgrades or like four downgrades. It's absolutely astonishing. This patch has very little buffs. Chris got a little bit on damage mm -hmm. and so forth, but uh, Dormammu had thorns taken away from him. It, the... it feels like people aren't being brought up to the level of Dante. It's just nerf, 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 He's nerf, and nerf. Finally, somebody come on today. Dude, I don't like that's what. They nerfed the wrong people. They basically should be buffing before they start nerfing things. There has to be a balance. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm so that this is a Marvel game. But this oh, is so that's this. why people don't like the the patch that's coming out. Dude, yes. Fuck, fuck, Darn, Darn Mamu and that fucking bed of thorns thing. That's just such Holy, garbage. Oh my god. god. That's just yeah, garbage. like the the Dante notes are like a page Holy long. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what half this shit means, but. Oh my god. Yeah, he got decimated. Like, a this. lot of it is... is well, start up increase, hey, damage man. decrease... Well, they, they, they basically... took away... or took out a glitch where he would not auto-turn on certain style moves. I would say Dante is dead, but he's still somewhat strong, so this will more or less Isn't make... Isn't that a difficulty in one of the games? Dante is dead? Or Dante, Dante must dead? die. Dante. Dante must yeah, die. Th that's what they should have called this patch. Yeah. Hey, he got Capcom. Like, mm -hmm. you random mean. Frank nerfs, too. I don't yeah, know. Frank, Frank got nerfs, too. I don't know. I didn't see a lot of Frank uh, fighters online. Like, it's I not... I think it's because of tournament play. That's mm. my guess. So Everybody plays being... Dante Reality Stone, though. Mm -hmm. So this is being put out on December 5th. Battle for the Stones takes place the following weekend. That's and Capcom basically right had to reassure its players that no, you're going to play on the old version. And Capcom, if that's the case, why didn't you put out this patch after Battle for the Stones and not before? It's it's crazy. Because Capcom's a bunch of apes. Is <laughs> Capcom gonna Capcom? Because Cap Capcom is filled Capcom with can of syphilates. Like the oh, what do you say, Brandon? Capcom sucks at balances, that's all. Yes. Man, I don't know like, if these this rumors... particular shade of incompetence just it can't go unnoticed. I don't know if these rumors are true that Virgil's apparently gonna get in, but if he oh, gets if that's in, the case, yeah, then uh, they gotta be careful yeah. with that because if you're gonna put him in, make sure he's not Dante MVCI day one. Oh, that's what's gonna happen. What that's gonna happen. <laughs> Unless they yes. the that's gonna happen. <laughs> bring know. the uh, bring the true king to MVCI. I think uh, I think we're pretty much done with this episode unless somebody has more news they want to talk about. I did miss a I couple of things purposely news. though. I I didn't miss like the leaks of uh, not leaks but rumors of new characters in MVCI. Like they they said Virgil was going to be in. They said because uh, a lot of Gil. them are basically I'll believe it when I see it. It's true. That's how I feel about every leak and rumor. To be that honest, that basically man. implies <laughs> that they have a lot of development time to make all these characters they're not just going to characters I, don't just fall out of a tree you know I, they I take had a, time I had a they could shake the MVC3 tree a bit and get some probably yeah I had a question though people were, were kind of complaining that we were kind of getting the same characters in MVC MVCI but then now I see people are asking for Wesker and old characters like Virgil and shit uh, what, what is it that people want? Do the people want new characters, or do they want like their character back from MVC3? People still want Doom, even though we all know what happened to mm -hmm. the X-Men characters. It's mostly just they want good characters. Doom is an X-Men character. Mm -hmm. In my Nobody... opinion, the lineup of MVCI is kind of meh. I agree. You just say shit, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're not. We're rated M here. 
What, what only a few characters I even play. Yeah. Well, I you're an X Men character, but you know he's part of the Fox deal. Yeah, he's the final, uh, final, uh, Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four, not final. <laughs> final, final Four. Final Four. <laughs> That's March Madness. Final Foo. Did we get old Cody back? I like old Cody. Nah. How about Gene yeah. from God Hand? You already have Hagar. Thank you. My whole team out? got back into NBC. I couldn't give less of a shit. It's really weird. Yeah, mine, I think I think people just people just had a lot of like high expectations for this game, and when Capcom just dropped the ball constantly, of course they're gonna be upset about it, you know. Wait, like, they had high expectations of this game? Yeah, yeah when it first got announced, back. everyone was like, "Oh Why? my god!" It's NBC. I mean, yeah, it's, it's Marvel, the, the baby. Reveal, the reveal, it's Marvel, but... baby. People are hyper Marvel. Yeah. Not. We also just lost all these great, like, new characters we got in 3, you know? We lost, like, Amaterasu and Wesker and all these other great people. There's no Tron Bond this time out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I lost Chris, even though he's still in the game. Yeah, that's my boy Chris, too. Lost him? You never had him. I had a Chris in 3. I did not have him in Infinite, though. They can they can get a... Oh, no, they can't get Deadpool back. I thought he was uh, Sony, but that's Spider-Man. Yeah, Deadpool, Deadpool, Deadpool. That's yeah. Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, I yeah. had I had Ghost Rider and Ryu, so <laughs> what I was going I was to mainly say, my team. <laughs> go, ahead. go ahead. Yeah, what I was gonna okay. say when you said uh, Darker Doom, yeah, Doom's part of Fox, and they only did like uh, Marvel that's owned by Disney. So I really hope Disney buys uh, the little Fox stuff that they were teasing or they were everybody was freaking out about no, that they were selling that show. Here's why I don't want that to happen. Well, at least with Deadpool. Because they will ruin the Deadpool character when it comes to Also, oh, yeah. it, it basically sets a precedent for just characters down the line. Hmm. I, I read that rumor, too. They were going to be free characters added to the game. Free? F-R-E? Free. Just F-R-E. Hmm. F-R-E-E. Just added to the game in a free Doubt. patch. Doubt. Doubt. Think no Doubt. money. Stupid. They, they said the same thing about uh, SF5 uh, Season 3. They said they were going to have three free characters like Oro, Q, Bullshit. and somebody else. Doubt, doubt, doubt. <laughs> that was no. part of, like, x thing, but I'm not sure. Again, okay, characters doubt. don't fall out of thin air. I'm just saying. I, I'm agreeing with you guys, but I'm just saying that's what I'm hearing about the Season 3. Also, take, take that can I assault. briefly mention everyone who wants Doom in Marvel's Capcom game? Yeah. I don't feel those people want Doom because he's Dr. Doom. Because he does I feel Doom they shit. want Doom because he's foot dives the character. But uh, doesn't uh, doesn't that Sigma do that shit too? Not really yeah. that well. Uh, it's 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 not as effective, and it's much more oh, of shit. a I've seen launcher finish. Hmm. Wait, so I've you're seen gonna... Doom combos. They're kind of scary. So you're actually gonna call Doom a function? Hmm. He's a foot dive function. It, mm -hmm. I, I can't. And if you play Doom, you're officially a Doom guy. <laughs> Get out. Okay. okay. <laughs> wah, wah. I think that that about wraps it up. Unless anybody else has something to say that they didn't get to say. Um, nah. Ben? She's not. You take that back, you bastard. Like, no. She's Laura is the only thought in Street Fighter. As long as you don't say anything about Makoto. Girl, but... Please bring Makoto back. An SF oh, yeah. punch girl hashtag punch girl yeah. bring her back hashtag best girl Sakura no when I touched a bum what? what it's okay it's fine let me have this one then Mika talk out of here buddy hey. anyways let's do our outros Mr. Brandon where can we find you sir Twitter this is gonna change soon it's at Hurricane Magic 514 not so special alright I didn't think it was special either I'm just kidding Good. Lagaya, what's where can we find you, sir? Twitter, YouTube, you know, all your streaming stuff and shit. You can find me on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram under the name Lagaya Rosaru. That's L E G A I A R A S E R U. Damn, this nigga brave as fuck. He gave him his Instagram and everything. I'm about to give him his Facebook too. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Exposed. Italian Stallion, where can we find you, sir? Uh, you can find me Twitter, IT Stallion 330, YouTube, Italian Stallion 330, and Pornhub under Lance Thrust. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm the last one. <laughs> Jesus. So you say. Wait, hold on, Reapers. Mm -hmm. For a second. Did we talk about Combo Fiend Love Capcom? Uh, nah, I kind of skipped that off. Um, 
right. Everybody's pretty much like. It's yay. it's it's kind of a shame because a shame. that was his dream job. Yeah. I mean, people praise about that. Do, do people miss Seth Killian? I kind of do. I, I kind of miss S Kill. Yeah. S Kill. Huh? But yeah, that's what we kind of think about it. Uh, hey. Rats fleeing a sinking ship, in my opinion. But. <laughs> But you got Andy Wong in charge. He will handle all your balancing. He he'll will make, handle all your favorite characters. He'll make chicken jokes at Mike Ross and offend him. I met Mike Ross. I don't get it. I miss he Mike was, Ross. Uh, he was pretty cool. You smell like cigarettes? No, not at all. <laughs> Shout out to that Mike Ross. Yep. <laughs> A victim of the Guilty Gear gods now. <laughs> I don't get it. Yep. Anyways. I was watching the latest assault video and I saw a fucking Twitch post of him getting mad at Faust players and fucking laughed. Oh god, man. I, just, mm, I need the a boy. I need to get good on fucking guilty guy. Uh-huh. Alright, Hades, where can we find you, sir? Uh, I'm on Twitter at Hades underscore Manticore. I'm on YouTube. YouTube.com slash video games ho. I post video game videos there sometimes. That's where I am. Rad Rad, where can we find you, sir? You can find me on Twitter at the Rad Rad. You can find my YouTube channel, uh, Rad Rad's Rad Games. I recently put up a couple glitch videos in WWE 2K18, such as an announcer getting a little too ahead of themselves. So if it's a glitch, it will most likely go on my YouTube channel. Man, WWE 2K18 is such garbage, dude. I feel bad for buying that shit. I don't know why you did. It's, it's... a nice, it's a nice universe mode. It's a guilty pleasure, but that fucking my career thing is garbage. Uh, Spike Lee made it or something? No. They still have bugs that they didn't fix. That's not the point of this shit no more. The, the, the gl glitches are the best part of the game, though. Hmm. No, not for me. Probably the glitchiest one that's come out in a long time, too. Yeah. Is, is it more glitchy than last year's? I'd yeah, say so. Don't make the same game. The fact put that it you, out every damn year. The fact that you can't, like, create your own character, like... Fully, you have to like they give you like a, a limited supply of like haircuts and shit, and you have to buy the rest with like oh, VC. That was bullshit, Shit's dude. garbage. That dude. sounds so whack. Yeah. yeah. 2K we and a 2K. Man, I missed the THQ WWE. 2K quality. Yeah. 3K quality, as it were. 2K stands for two a thousand dollars you have to spend. Oh, you uh, mean like in uh, NBA games? Yeah, microtransactions. Oh yeah. Uh, Kaneki, where can we find you, sir? You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube under the same name as Google Order. And if you guys are ever going to play Geese in Second 7, do not try to use Geese's uh, mid-punch to like, when you try to do a combo, because he has the worst mid-punch in that game. That it's sucks. It's really too That's short. Good. What's up? Usually, usually it's down three. That's probably the best counter hit in the game if nobody sees it coming. I fucking hate when people say down three, one, two, three, and shit like that. So many... <laughs> like well, I'm sorry, people play on different consoles. I know, it's, but it's... It's what? the notations that you need to learn. I know, but yeah, it's right. like, I'm so used to, like, light punch, medium punch, hard punch, and it's like one, two, three, yeah. one, hold one, you know. Oh, what, you want people to say down, left, kick? No, I want people to say down, like, down left, yeah, well, yeah, you're right. That's what it he wants, is. He wants yeah. short, fierce, roundhouse. Yeah. That's what he wants. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, let's let's fucking finish this. I I noticed in these fucking podcasts that I never give my outro because I always forget. So I'm gonna do it correctly this time. You can find me. I'm not gonna give you my Facebook. Just cut the podcast here as he's introducing himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you can find me on YouTube at Reapers Two Four Zero. Uh, my next day off, I'll announce that I'm gonna play uh, Alex on Street Fighter Five with my uh, Christmas skin and Christmas stage, and I'll have Christmas music playing in the background. So that's gonna be fun. You gonna have DMX's Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer cover going? Oh, really? abs absolutely! fucking lutely How about uh, Run I'm DMX? I'm terribly sorry to interrupt. I almost forgot. I have mm -hmm. a Twitch page as well. Oh, please. Go ahead. Twitch TV slash Project Rad. Um, I will actually be using it in the next couple of days to catch up on all the recent <laughs> fighting game content I missed out on. Uh, keep an eye on my Twitter for information on dates and time. Absolutely. That's uh, If you guys need uh to know when Rad Red's gonna do that just follow his Twitter and he'll probably post it in a tweet or something yeah. like um, we all do go ahead I, I forgot to mention uh, what I do on YouTube I post let's plays fighting games and dancing game videos mainly Tekken 
And as for Let's Plays, I am currently doing Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. Hey, that hard nice. game. Not that hard game, that yeah, bullshit. Not hard, you know? <laughs> um, oh, and my, my YouTube channel, I post dating sims, visual novels, uh, hentai games. Like, no. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter and YouTube and on Twitch at Reapers240, where I occasionally do stuff, post stuff. Stuff like that. But this has been the Quarter Circle Forward. I named this episode Crossover Nonsense because of the crossover nonsense and guest characters that we got in this ending of the year. I think this podcast went really well. But we'll see you guys next time when we get more news in from fighting games. So please expect us. We'll let you know when that is. So I bid the chat and the listeners listening to this afterwards adieu. Everybody say bye. Bone oh, wee. Dank bye. memes. Go fuck yourself. Later. Hey. Good. Lance thrust on Pornhub.